hard sometimes. And young people, don't get me wrong, knowledge is power. And power will cause you to stand in front of people and testify. No matter, you're not out to hurt nobody, because I love everybody. But see, if you got knowledge and you don't know how to humble yourself, then you're just an educated fool. Just like Donald Trump. An educated fool. And a fool and his money will soon part. It was Jesus Christ who told a story about the camel going through the eye of the needle and a rich man to get in the kingdom. Am I right? Y'all got some beautiful history out here. Y'all got the power. I don't care how you feel about me. But I do care that you take something from the night of what you've heard. Don't kill a messenger. Don't kill a messenger. This week I've been invited. I'm into my third speaking engagement. This is my third stop. Early today, we honored Judge Fields, ILA Union Hall. Early this morning, I was on a radio program, The Frankie Show. People, my people, if you know that you are here for a purpose, because God puts us here for a purpose, and only he and you know what it is. Don't let nobody turn you around. Don't let nobody make you feel like you're less than. Don't let nobody make you think that you don't belong. Because as sure as your heart, it just pumped that blood through your veins. God has you here for a purpose. My purpose tonight was to come say a speech about Dr. King. God didn't want that. Some people in here own property. And some people, young people, middle-aged, our elders, you've got the power to invest. You need to do it to keep this island intact. Don't do what the city did downtown. We're trying to salvage that the best way we can. But it starts in this room with everybody empowering themselves from an economic standpoint. My good friend, Reverend Jackson, he's a dear friend of ours. He now is getting up in age, and he has a condition. That's one of our civil rights leaders. Reverend Jackson made a lot of visit out this way, too. Sethema P. Clark, Long, because the Esau Jenkins, they used to commute, they used to network, they used to be close friends. Rev. Jackson told me many stories about the CIA. He understands that some powerful people look. He said, Gilead, if they only knew their power, they got the history down pat. But their power, the power is in this room. And it only starts with you, you, and you. God bless you all.